kama yebazu gwenangi you and me abacha solo kuleka mini moja abacha solo kuleka makaga abacha solo kuleka ruvunanyi zibwa tulina ne tujje wana ngate tuze bantu kutulaba na inga tuze zimba na mulo katonda awebwe chiti mumulebe kuno chikirango ukama yebazu haleluya Mama je mama je la tero tu gamba. Ndi wetu je wano. All of us we come like a. Ngo mtu wa boli je. As a normal person. Tere bi a taito. No any taito. Tere bi a chi. No any special. If it is to jump we jump. Bokuwa kuvuka tuvuka. If it is to clap we clap. Bokuwa mungalo ngatu ba mungalo. Kuba anga turi wano kuwa chigende the way. Kuwa ya kuwano papa. To build the throne of God. Simba na mulondo ya katunda. We thank the Lord. Those that have joined us for the first time. It will be your first time. Welcome in the best special way. We welcome you in the best special way. Let us love you. 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 When he hides, those your eyes, they are not so many. It is scripture. This is a sign. We are one of the generation. Amen. Okay. If you are a if you are if it's your first time, you are one of the generation. Amen. 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 Mukama iwasi. Pray the Lord. Ah, ngambi dua. I was also told. Mwangu na yu message yonna. If I have any message about this altar, about the nation. Oba e yekwanga lino. Mukama iwasi. Pray the Lord. Ojani na yu kujestaringa. You can come also to just. No one is so afraid. With our secretary. What we teach them. There is a book. Kuba katunda ba yoke na na fe. Because God speaks with us. Kuri lotova kuchocho ne tu dayo. Whenever we gather and go back. Kuvio tobi afe. To other. Katunda si gala yoke na na fe. God is meant speaking with us. So mwangu na yu ubaka. If I have any message. Katunda we yaku. What God gave you, you accept it. You register there, and we get a way that we can receive it all. And we understand it. Amen. 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 Our vision bearer. Then after there, I just want to tell us what to do. Let us welcome Jesus. 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 Yeah, I know the enemy is just trying to threaten, but he's defeated. Amen. Because I don't have flu, I don't have cough, but yesterday as I was going home, I just felt my voice was going. And um, I use this one, no one is listening. Let me spare this for another person. Um, so praise God. Yes, we have a way. 
So God is good. Are we in agreement that God is good? God is good. Make make that noise so that the world and the enemy knows that our God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad when I find life here because I struggled so much in the morning. But I'm so glad that we know the vision and where we are going. Praise God. This team, I can see that already we have some people who are consistent. And those ones, I believe God is equipping us. Already we know that we serve the master. And we know why we are here. Whether Jody is here or, 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 is here, or whoever, you know why you are here. And I'm so glad. May God bless you. He's our master, you know that. And I'm so glad that we know that he is leading us. And he's always using those who are on the ground. He uses them. Praise God. Yeah, so today I'm not going to speak much. Because, uh, I want us to pray. <laughs> and at the same time, I just want to just give the highlights of how I see where we are going. Before I go further, as God is so good, and you know that in this season he has been bringing people to, to share some of the insights of what uh, the things that will help us and equip us to move strongly forward. So, uh, on Wednesday, Roksatu, by divine, I just met another person who is a foreigner. Yes, Uganda. Okay, there is a, a friend of mine who is a, a South African. Well, South Africa. She was a missionary here. Yali with a burden for Africa. No, Africa yona. She's actually nicknamed Mama Africa. Bamuita Mama Africa. So she's an intercessor. She has been here for nine years. But so she kept on telling me about this. A man of God. How he has a burden for Africa. So he was like, I want you to see him. I want you to know him. I want you to attend his conference. Like, I didn't take it much. Naturally, I'm not so quickly excited with it. I, until when God is the one who does it for me. So on Wednesday, I just uh, felt, let me pass by uh, Pastor Chimuli's place and uh, uh, set, they call it what? Setting the pace for revival. They have pastor's meetings. They meet every month. So I, met, I passed there, I found it was going on. And by miracle, I found that same person that they were telling me. I found him speaking. And the words he was speaking were so deep. And they were all about Uganda. The man is from Cameroon. He's a foreigner. But he spoke, and in my heart I was like, I wish he can be, uh, he can share, we can hear these words at our own time. But I knew maybe he's going back. I didn't know that he was going back. So in my heart, I was like, I'm good. And I discovered his off. They were telling me. So I, I purpose to greet him. Just to greet him. And in my heart, I was like, I, I, should I? Ask him to stay 
longer so it's Saturday because I knew we are here on Saturday but I knew maybe he cannot extend his ticket and all because of just that so to cut it short when I greeted him and in his words he mentioned how he's here up to Monday and straight away I knew God wanted him to be here. So he straight away said, we have an altar here. Do you think you can be around and just share briefly about the body, what God told you about you? He said, sure, sure, I can come. He said, sure, the man is coming. He is coming. And it's not like these special prophecies that you have never heard of. But it is something that confirms what God wants to do. So he will be coming shortly. I request that we receive him and listen to him. And I believe God is sending messengers to confirm to us, to make it so like to know how important it is in the heart of God. Because sometimes we take things lightly. But in his love, he even goes to foreigners to emphasize what is supposed to be done in Uganda. You can imagine someone who is from out. He says, I will come back anytime. I will come. I will, I will teach. I will do with my money, tickets, and stay anytime because I know what God told me. And he will, he will give by himself. He just support himself. So you just see a foreigner with a burden concerning Uganda. Uganda. And you just think about ourselves. How burdened are we? How on that heart of God concerning this Uganda. So those are things that are challenging. And they need to wake us up. Okay, praise God. That one we put it aside. He's coming. I believe God is going to use him. Of course, as intercessors, we keep praying for such people because they are, there's a battle in the spiritual realm. There are human beings. They are human beings like any other. So it's to cover them in prayer so they can bring out that that God has on them. Amen. Amen. Okay, today I just wanted us to pray before he comes. And um, just something that I, it, it's a burden on my heart. When we are here singing and praising how we are soldiers and how he uh, he's resurrected and you know, how powerful and how equipped we are. But when you look at the, 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 the purpose of you, the purpose of God in Uganda, and you see where we are. Every day, I don't know if others are comfortable. You know that we are in a new season. We are, we are at the gate of a new season. And in this new season, we are very sure that God wants to use Uganda. And those are some of the words this gentleman will be saying. But as we hear all that, the question is, how prepared are we? How prepared are we? How are we carrying that urgency within us? So, recently God was again taking me back. I was praying on, uh, on 8th April. You know, we all knew that 8th was like a, 
a, a closing of the old season we are entering a new season na kwa chimechi nga munana wali okuka akasalo salo kuva mu bire bikadoge na mu bipya and even looking at israel it is the beginning of a new year you know israel ingira kwa mwaka kwa bo mpya you heard about eclipse wa mwao lila kwa eclipse yo mwezo kulana ne njuba and indeed it happened ila chabao but in Uganda it remained uh, bright, it wasn't dark. But if you want, you can check and search. It happened. I watched it. So, it, those are all. I, don't, I, I can't go into that, you know. That. But the point is, I went before God. I said, God, yes, it's a new season. Yes, it's a new season. And we have what he's going to do concerning the church. And as I tried to note it down in my notebook, I just opened. As I was opening, I just, you know, like just I landed on that very scripture, that very day of September. And I saw that scripture about, and then again about the, the building, the army. So in my spirit, I knew this is an emphasis. He's serious about this. So maybe what he told me in September is still on it. And it's going to happen. And this scripture, I'm going to ask someone to read it for you. We know, I know you know it. But if God can repeat it, let's repeat it. And then we see what next. Someone read for me. Ezekiel 34. We are going to read half of it because it's long and I want us to pray. From verse one. From verse one. Okutani kilao. Awe chiga mbacha mukama ne chinji. kandu badile rukusa muri amasavu ne mwambala ebyoya ne mutta ebya sava na yene mutta lisandiga olwokuna etai eteyinza temujisanga mu musai eteyinza temujisa mu manyi so temuonya erwadde so temusibanga emenyese so, temu, temu kumyanga wo, e gobe dua. So, temu no nyanga, e guze. So, temu azifu zanga mani, na mawagali. Na ye mu azifu za, roku na katuludemu. E te inza, temu jisamu mani. So, temu wanya e ruade. So temuzisi te temusiba ange menyese so temuko miyanga o ego bedua so temuno nyanga ebuze na yemo azi fuzanga mani na mawagali orwokuta ano ne zisa sana orwokuta orwokuta ba o musumba ne zivacha kuria eri ensolo zona 
ezomu nsiko nezisa asana oruo mukaga endi gazangi zawu tikira ku nsozi zonna ne kulika sozi aka wamvu we wawo endi gazangi zasa asanira ku masengezi ku maso gensi yonna sote wali e yazinonya ne wanku badde okuzibu ulirira kitalo okuzibu uliriza ngo musanvu kale mmwe abasumba muulire ekigambo kya mukama olwo munana nga wendi omulamu bwayogera mukama katonda mazima kubange ndigazange zafuka muyigo ere ndigazange zafuka kya kulia eri ensoro zonna ezo munsiko olwo obutaba awo musumba sona abasumba bange tebanonya ndigazange na yaba sumba neberi saboka nebatali sandi gazange olwo mwenda kale mmwe abasumba muulira ekigambo kya mukama olwe 10 wati wayogera mukama katonda anti laba ndi mulabe wa abasumba era ndivunane ndi era kankadde wati wayogera mukama katonda nti laba ndi mulabe wa abasumba era ndivunane ndi gazange mu mukono gwabwe nemba 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 rekesayo okulise ndiga sona abasumba tebali eri sabo kanate era ndi wonye ndi gazange mukamwaka abwe ziremo kuba ekyo kulya eri bo kubina rumu kubanga mukama katonda bwayogera anti laba nze mwene nze ndi nonya endiga zange ne nenzi buliriza 12 ngo musumba bwa buliriza ekisiboke kuluna kulwabera mu ndigaze ezisasanye wenjo wendi buliriza endiga zange era ndi ziwonya ku bifo byonna je byasasanira kuluna ku olwe kibire olwe 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 kizikiza 13 era ndi zijja mu mawanga nenzi kunganya okuzijja mu nsi nnyingi nenzi leta mu nsi zazo zo era ndi ndi zikiriza ndi zilik ndi zilikiriza ku nsozi za Uganda ku rubala malwe nsozi za amazi amina ne mu bifo byonna ebi ebi ebirwerwamu ebyensi 14 ndizili so muddo omulunji era ku nsozi ezentiko ya Uganda kwe kuliba ekisibo kyabwe eyo gendi zili gezili galamira ku kisibo ekirungi ne zilira omuddo omulunji ku nsozi za Uganda kuminatano nze mwene ndili sendi gazange nenzi galamiza kwayogera mukama katonda kumina mukaga ndinonya echi echibuze nenko myawe echo echigobeddwa nensiba echimenyese nekisamu amani mwecho ekiwadde nebya sava nebya amani ndibizikiriza ndibirisa no musa ndibizikiriza no musango kumi na musambu wanonno katubaddo tuli abasumba kati wawo namwe ekisibo kyange bwati wayogera mukama katonda anti laba nsalo musango ogwe nsoro ne nsoro ogwe 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 ndiga ennume era ne mbuzi ennume kuna munana mukiyita kigambo kitono nga mwali omuddo omulungi naye ne kiganirwa ne ne kibagwanira okulinyirira ebigere byamwe omuddo gwamwe ogwafikawo eranga mwanywa amazi amatefu naye kibagwanira okubata eh, okutabangula ne ebigere byamwe agafisewo <laughs> 10 na mwenda nendi kazange ziri ebyo 
Vyemuli nyiride nevi gere vya mwe. Nezinyu ago, gemuta vangu de nevi gere vya mwe. Iwange sichi huzo. Iwange sichi huzo. Na hindi huzo. It is a question in English. English. Okay, yes. let me read the other question. Nendiga zangi, ziriyevyo, gemuli nyiride, nevi gere vya mwe. Nezinyu ago. Gemuta vangu de nevi gere vya mwe. Chitaro. Makumi abili. Mukama katonda chavawa gamba wati intilava. Nze mwene. Ndisa lomu sango gwe nsoro. Eza sava. No gwe nsoro enkovu. Abili murumu. Kubanga. Musi ndisa embirizi nevi. Nevi vega vega. Ne, ne muto meza Eziru wa dezo na ama yembega mwe Okutusa Bemuzi sasa nji za dala Abidi mubili Kendi vamponya e Chisiwe change So tekiva na te muyigo Nange ndi salo musango Gwe nsoro ne nsoro Abidi musatu Era ndi sawo kuzo Omusumbo omu Na ye alili Alili isa omuto gwangi Na ye, alizirunda omudu wange Dawudi, ye alirunda, ye alirunda, era ye aliba musumba wazo. Abili munya, nange mukama ndiba katonda wawe. No mudu wange, no mudu wange Dawudi, aliba mulangira mubo. Nze mukama njoge de. Even if you stop there, you'll continue and finish. Because he talks about how he will make a covenant of peace with us and all that and all that. The blessings, after he has taken charge, you will finish the whole scripture. It is very, very good. Now, I think the word is very clear. You may think it's about pastors. And I know when we talk about pastors, you talk about those big names. And indeed you are right. I want to ask you a question. Now, please don't quote me. I'm not after anyone. Because I really pray for each one. We are responsible by the way. We think we are right. And the good thing, he said, after removing the, the shepherds, now he, now he enters into the, the sheep themselves. The sheep against the, another sheep. And the goat and the bull and all those. The rams, the, 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 the ram of the, the sheep. So, it's like it is a season. To me, when I got this message, I knew God cannot form a new move with a mix of what has been happening. It can't. It can never. And that's why he told us that now that one 
There are those who are going to remain and those who are going to go. But you remember again, I go back to Joshua. Even after they crossed Jordan, he again turned to them and said, consecrate yourselves. Ourselves. So, I just feel strongly. We are the right people. We have the opportunity. There is still the grace. But something has to be done within us. How are we? How are we? How are we? Uh, how, how are we in this situation? Where do we fall? Okay, let me say it this way. Where do we fall? Among the other sheep that uh, the sheep are going to be removed. Among the sheep who are going also to be surged and purged against each other, the truth is that no one is going to remain the same. There's something that has to be done. So, at this altar, if God reveals such things, what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? Yesterday, pastors just mobilized themselves and they called me. They said, we must plan. We cannot remain the same. And to me, I was surprised. Because these are people that we started with. But they became busy. I know their hearts are willing. But I was so grateful to God that also something is happening within them. They were like about ten. And they said, we need to plan. God has to give us a strategy. We can't remain the same. And in my heart, I was like, thank you, God. So, God is doing something. Now as an altar, as, as a people who are praying, and God has trusted us. And I believe, after doing all this work, after rearranging us, He promises He's going to come comfort is going to uh, pick the sick and the weak and, and you know he's the one who is going to be our shepherd and I believe that's how he's going to prepare us to build us as an army but let me tell you before something happens in any nation he reveals to his friends by grace, we are part of that team. Praise God. So I feel strongly that in this time, we need to respond to this. Present ourselves. First of all, thank him that he has not left us as a nation because of our sins, because of how we embarrass him. How we, 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 there's no difference between the world and the church. When it, when it goes to politics, we are the same. When it goes to quarreling, we are the same. Eating money and cheating, we are the same. What is the glory of God? Where was it? And are we going to remain seated? There? You just keep saying, Praise God, praise God. I don't think so. By the time he brought us here, I remember, he gave us Isaiah 60 as our vision. He says, Arise and shine. The glory of God is risen And he says, Even if the world is covered by darkness, and the people are covered by darkness, but for you, your morning has come. Amen. And that's what gives us boldness. That he's with us. And that's why he reminds us of such words. So that we be co workers with him. But before we do that, he wants us to purge us and clean us. 
Praise God. Amen. So I think that at this moment, we need to present ourselves before I will request those who feel like you can lead us into this session. However short it can be, but let us take it seriously. We are in a season where God is not playing games. It's upon our choice. When time comes, it comes. It's you to make yourself there. Or you, you remain behind. So in our, in our little strength, let's put our hearts before him. And say, Father, here I am. Lord, as you are preparing those who are to go with you, the team that is going to deal with giants in this land, those that will face Jericho walls and they fall, do not leave me behind. Count me among them. Let's cry to him that we do not remain behind. It's not by experience. No. It's not by experience. It has to be by him, by us giving ourselves to him, and he will hold our hands. Yes, so I request uh, some, maybe two pastors some can lead us in this session before we, we go into something else. Praise God. Yes, I want to see volunteers. Praise the Lord. This is a very timely message. And uh, as she was talking, she reminded me of King Hezekiah. You know she's a king, she's not a pastor. Oh no, Kawaka, see, pastor. You are a king, eh? Yes. <laughs> She, uh, she's a king because she's in the marketplace. Eh? But while she was, was she was speaking, she just reminded me of King Hezekiah. When he let's go together in Second Chronicles twenty nine. King Hezekiah gathered the, pri the priests and the Levites. Uh, uh, I will read in English and you will repeat after me direct, directly. Uh, Second Chronicles 29 verse, uh, verse 3. Uh, the Bible says that in the first year of his reign, King Hezekiah, in the first month, he opened the doors of the Lord's temple and repaired them. Then he brought in the priests and the Levites, gathered them in the east, eastern public square. Today we are in Kololo. Right to Kololo. It's a, it's a, we know that it, it, these are the national grounds. And we are gathered as Levites and priests. He said to them, verse 5, Hear the Levites, hear me Levites, Consecrate yourselves now and consecrate the temple of the Lord. God of your ancestors. Remove every detestable from the holy place. For our fathers were unfaithful and did what was even the sight of the Lord our God. They abandoned him, turned their faces away from the Lord's tabernacle and turned their backs on him. They also closed the doors of the vestibule, vestibule extinguished the lamps, did not burn incense, and did not offer the burnt offerings in the holy place of the God of Israel. All sin that God sees in the nation. 
because they forsook the altar now churches are in celebration we are in taking it and we have those celebration nights there is no purpose of prayer the purpose of God can never manifest so they burning incense at the altar and all the world was a reproach so we are going to repent on all so they did the detestables everybody was doing according to his name let's read ahead uh, for the sons of uh, oh, where are we? 29 he said to them hear me Levites consecrate yourselves now and consecrate the temple of the Lord, God of your ancestors remove every detestable from the holy place for our fathers were unfaithful and did what was evil in the sight of the Lord our God they abandoned Turn their faces away from the Lord's tabernacle and turn their backs on Him. They also closed the doors. Eight. Therefore, the wrath of God was on Judah and Jerusalem. Uganda and the whole world. Uganda and the whole world. The royals of God come because they, they have not done their responsibility. They have left the purpose of the altar. Our fathers sell by the sword. But oh, uh, let me first complete eight. Therefore, the wrath of the Lord on Judah and Jerusalem, and He made them an object of terror, horror, and hissing, as you see with your own eyes. As Sister Jill was speaking, as, as we see whatever is going on, we don't need to, and we don't need to blame it on the pastors. Alone. Not, all, all of us, the, the flock and the pastors. But God said, in Ezekiel, verse 30. Let's read there also. And then we shall intercede. Ezekiel 22, uh, verse 30. Uh, let's begin from 23. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, say to her, you are a land that has not been cleansed. That has not received rain in the day of indignation. The conspiracy of our prophets within her is like a rolling lion, tearing its prey. They devour people, seize wealth and valuables, and multiply the windows within her. Her priests do violence to my law and profane my holy things. They make no distinction between the holy and the common. And they do not explain the difference between the clean and the unclean. They disregard my Sabbaths, and I am profaned among them. You see, upon the nation and nations, it is from the house of the Lord, uh, right from the priests, from the Levites. You people. All things to become upright as good ones. Must begin from the house of the Lord. We remove all the details. And when we repent, we turn around. So we should not blame the others. It begins with us. Somebody say it begins with me. Now the gospel of righteousness. It restores people. 
people back to God. The kingdom of God. That reigns in people. It comes through the gospel. Of the kingdom. All of us pastors and the flock, we never wanted the gospel. Of the we have not embraced it. And for that cause, the spirit of God has also deserted us. And when he disappears, the spirit of God comes. That's why things are like this. And now he said, in verse 30, uh, 29 the people of the land extortion and committed robbery they have oppressed the poor and the needy and unlawfully exploited the foreign resident but I search for a man among them who would repair the wall and stand in the gap before me on behalf of the land so that I might not destroy it but if I find no one so I have poured out my indignation on them and consumed them with the fire of my fury. I have brought their actions down on their own heads. This is the Lord's declaration. Praise the Lord. Amen. The good news is that there is nothing in tea. That when pastors sing, the frog sing, so, so, so bad. There is an opportunity that he's looking for someone who will stand in the gap. So let us get on our on our on our knees and we are going to repent because a judgment begins in god's household so the good thing that we are here and the season is not yet over for god is grace is sufficient once we turn and do right he is faithful and he will forgive father we thank you for this time Thank you for the opportunity you've given us to come back to you, Lord, as level priests, as of the nation. Here we are on the national grounds as you called us. We are responding to your word as you've told your servant, Jolie, that we should clean and cleanse and purify ourselves. Repent, oh God, for leaving the gospel of the kingdom. That's where it began from. When we refuse the Holy Spirit to drive us and we made our own programs we moved our own programs making through our agenda leaving your agenda we leaving your purpose we left the whole it is the one of the churches that's why it began there is no righteousness and holiness we have not done the purpose rather we confess before you are the national altar as believers, as priests, for all the worshippers, for all the prophets, for all the apostles, all the pastors, the evangelists, all the intercessors. Father, there is no one who is right. We are all wrong. We left you alone. And your commands, and your commands, and your holy spirit. We forsook it. We did our own programs. We grieve you. We repent for the sins that we have done. There are things we have done. There are things we have done. We are not worthy to be forgiven. But you have said. You are looking for people with a heart. As you have said. In Chronicles 16. It says 9. That your eyes are moving. To and fro. Looking. And to show us my heart. You can see. You can see everything. To pointing it out to. We point out. No gamba basumba. And if I don't pass out, they satisfy themselves. Gaze nyene. Kwe gamba fene mitima. Jafe jiba dewala. Be far away. Nenya.
Ne tuevuga Kati tuko miewa Tukiriza Okusobia kwa fe No kuonona kwa fe Ne chimicha fe Kati no chituke jori Tuo Ulira balevi Uwewa kama maziga Mabuwa yogede Uyo weri Tumenye se Tumenye se Tumenye se Kuruwewe vyo ya galo kola Watuma domu ziziko Kuruwewe vyo ya galo kuhisao Watuma denchire mesa Atenga fama kule mbeze Tusasire Tuono nye guanga Tusasire Tuono nye nsi Tuono nye nye nsi Laba netaka Tuliono neseza Oro wenzi wafe No bukaba Kwe tuenze Ne wakatonda balala Tusasire Enkume ya togo Ne ya dumbi Ne wete tonye Nga fetu ni ya chiziza Nga fetu ni ya chile mesa Kwa watu wa influence Ne tuwe pa Echitiwa Ne tuche diza Orwarero Orwarero Kachite gerewe Nga kumina satu Chitukiriza Kusobia kwa fe Era tu kwa tulide Nechona nocha fe Mukama to sonyiwe Sonyiwa sebo Sasira Ulira yawe Kwebale mukama Kwebale omoyo mtuko Olomoyo mtuko Potu sindikide Tuko olo musai kwa yesu Okuna zo mutima Nememe Eye guanga Obuvunanyi zivwa Kwe tuareka Owe choto Muye kalu yo Tuko miewo To respond inga To what day to agala Ya kwe iraga Mchifo chuo kwa agala Yo ya gala Yo kwe to waza To kama To come here We come back To kiriza We vale yesu Thank you Jesus We vale omoyo mtuku Thank you Holy Spirit We vale okutu kiriza Thank you for acting We vale okutu dinamu Thank you for Kwa wala musai kwa yesu Kwa wala punda blood of Jesus 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 The church The temple Kwa wala punda blood of Jesus Kwa wala punda blood of Jesus Kwa wala punda blood of Jesus Okujijamuvivi. Mukukiriza na fefe njini Yetu ekole de Yetu chambuli de Yetu kono nye Omusai kwa yesu Unaze guanga Unaze kololo Unaze taka Unaze nsi Omusai o guamani Kuchuse Evi afayo Katino fe Alabate wala nawe Tusembeze we kumpi Nawe Ela tusembeze we kumpi Kolo musai kwa yesu We thank you Holy Spirit We thank you Father We thank you Holy God We thank you for being Precious At your throne room of grace In Jesus' name Amen In the same spirit we are going to be praying through the scripture of Mama Jolie And of Ezekiel 34 in the name of Jesus In the same spirit we are going to be praying through the scripture of Mama Jolie And of Ezekiel 34 in the name of Jesus Father, we come before you as the Levites in the name of Jesus, as the pastors of this generation, as the servants of this generation. My God, my God, have your way. Have mercy on us, Jesus. We have forsaken your flock. We've left your people. We've left the sign, the work that you gave us. We've been in the world, roaring into other things. But Father, once again, have mercy on us. We come before you. As your children, have mercy on us. Have it in your heart, Jesus, that you may cleanse us with your blood. Have your way, King of mercy, upon all the pastors, upon all the bishops, upon all the apostles. Father, have your way. Have mercy once again. The world has taken us. The of the world has taken us. But Father, we say, bring 
pass once again on the throne of mercy. Father, we've been feeding your flock with leftover food. We stop praying and fasting. We stop reading the world. We stop coming at your feet. But we say, Jesus, this afternoon, we are coming once again to submit unto you. Have mercy, Jesus. Have mercy upon you, God. Have mercy upon the priests of this nation. King of glory, right are taking us. Fornications in the gathering. Every weakness. Social media. WhatsApp, WhatsApp, Facebook, Facebook, and the rest of the things that are not useful in the realms of the spirit that have taken up our hearts, taken up our souls, taken up our minds, that we come again to the mercy. We say, have mercy, draw us closer, and close at your feet, draw us closer, and close at your heart, that Father King of mercy, we shall receive from you, and we shall give unto your people that which is Fresh from you. Have your way, Jesus. Release your anointing. Release your anointing. As we are in this nation, and to this altar of this nation, you can release your grace. We pray for every leader in the regions of Uganda, of the central, in the west, in the east, in the north, in West Nile. Have your way. Revive your men of God. Revive your women. Of This is our generation. This is our generation. You are in our generation. I prefer to die that is in this place of God. Father, ignite them. Ignite the fire. Come on, come on, come on. Ignite the fire. Ignite the fire. Ignite the fire. They used to go to the mountain and seek you. They used to go to presents. Father, we come. 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 we come. Father, we come. Father, we come. As I'm winding up, in the book of Isaiah 61, the Bible says the spirit of all is upon me. The Lord has anointed me to speak good tidings, to, 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 to mend the broken hearts, to mend the broken hearts, to speak the acceptable years of God. We as the Levites, we as the priests, we pray for the anointing. We pray for the anointing. For the Speak the word is upon our side. We are the sons of this generation. To speak the good tidings. They can give us the good tidings. There will be a solution to the people. A solution to those who are hungry. A solution to those who have cancer. A solution to those who don't have the word. A solution. Father, feel us. Feel us. Anoint us. Anoint us. Acts 10 30 says. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power. They went about doing good, doing the sick and casting out demons. The Lord has anointed us. 
Anointed Jesus. Believe your spirit upon us. Anoint us, Jesus. Anoint that woman. Anoint that man to speak the good tidings. Anoint them. Anoint them. Anoint them. Anoint them. Anoint us that you may be great evangelists, great apostles, great teachers of the word, great pastors. Anoint us. Anoint us, Jesus. Anoint us. Bible says in Isaiah 6. And died, and I saw the Lord. And when the Lord came and asked, Who can I send? And I said, Here I am, Lord. May the Lord send us. In Jesus' name. Bless Is all we've come to do. Casting out, lifting hands, and bowing us. Is all we've come to do. We're casting our crowns down, casting crowns, lifting hands, lifting hands.
The word from our vision bearer It is so powerful And it's so significant And it's so good To walk in the way of the Lord In most cases Our own knowledge and wisdom and experiences Without wasting time In that scripture In that scripture Without wasting time In that scripture we heard that God said he is coming to reign and he is going to raise a king. And he talked of King David. As 
we were reading that scripture. The voice of God spoke to me. Because he has been speaking to me several times. In this great time revival, the heads of states of nations. And he's going to use them the way he used them. David in his generation. And, and this Uganda, Uganda is one of those. So, now he's reminding me how he's using the armed forces. I'm happy that I'm one of them. Then we have what we call the joint forces for Christ Jesus. The army fellowship. The police fellowship and the prison fellowship. And the Lord spoke to us that we are going to advocate for Him. That's when we shall get total peace in the world. Now, what, a, what the Spirit is convicting me. Several times we have been with His Excellence on this ground. Personal have been here. Listening to His speeches. In the Thanksgiving breakfast. And other Christian functions. You see our leader. Really is loved by God. He has given testimonies on this ground. How he survived in the in the in the bush war. Beyond his own understanding. But now the Lord still demands him to stand at this and pronounce only Jesus. Yes. I stand here as a senior officer of the army. To read that prophetic prayer. My command in chief. His excellence. He must stand only on Jesus. Not Mama Finas Mama Fina and others. I don't hide that. Let Jesus, whom he has pronounced, open his eyes more. Let Jesus reign completely. I am happy that Mama and Mama Janet understand that very well. I have my sister Pesius understand it. Now it is you and me. You never know today. Today, today, somebody said today, let's agree today, let's agree today, my command in chief will be born again completely. He's been in religion, and he's also been in Jesus. I was in religion when I was in Somalia. But Jesus encountered me in Somalia. And he made me enter. I entered here. Hello. Hello. Can you join me on our knees? One thing we are praying for. The salvation of His Excellency. I am seven You know the meaning of the Bahaburwa? No one can advise him. But only Jesus. Tibabura means no one can advise him. That's the meaning of that name. But I know Jesus, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, in Romans chapter 13, verse 1 and 2, leaders are from the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord spoke to me when he called me that Uganda Museven was brought as a liberator. At the first he used a gun. But at the last he would use a Bible. Jesus, you are holy. Jesus, you are faithful to your word. With your saints here, me, Apostle John the Major, I am not a major by my will. I am not a senior officer by own making. On my knees, Lord, I pray for my commanding chief. You are that today may you grant sufficient grace upon his life. Open his spiritual mind, spiritual eyes. My father, we are here.
here on this national independence ground where the Union Jack was lowered down and the flag of Uganda was raised. Today we are not raising the flag of Uganda. We are raising the flag of heaven. And let the commanding chief be the one holding that flag. In the name of Jesus, I declare the decree great salvation. I declare the decree healing. I declare the decree redemption of my commanding chief. You are a good Museveni. The chosen leader for Uganda. The chosen leader for revival. My Lord, my master, I know that you chose him and you love him. No one can advise him. Only you can advise him. You have been with him and you will be with him. Lead him into all the truth. For you say in John chapter 8, verse 31, that your two disciples will abide in your word. They will know your truth and the truth will set them free. For I know that Steve Ahura, the commanding chief, is your, is your only leader. Now today, let your mercy, let your grace come down upon him, upon him. Oh my Lord, I know you are God who hears prayer. And in James chapter 1, you say when we pray, we must believe. I believe that today is a special day for our commanding chief. And not only him now, we also pray for all the leaders who are under him. The armed forces, the ministers, the judiciary, members of parliament, and all the local council members, all those in authority, the civil servants, Father, only those that you have called to serve you, should serve you in this generation, that they will glorify you. Uganda will be a corruption-free one. Uganda will be a nation whose name, my Lord, is your name. Thank you, Jesus, for the power of Africa. Take all your glory. Take all your honor. For you are Lord, you deserve it. None forevermore. And somebody shout Amen! Appreciate the hospitality for that moment. Wow, we thank the Lord for the lady. Uh, I continue to recognize the presence of everybody, the fathers and the mothers in the in this place. Or our president. I can't mention your names. Uh, but you are uh, our program is a little bit fixed. Uh, program is a fake. Uh, but I'm uh, uh, a precious precious Shortly, Mama Jolie. Was sharing that message. Uh, when Mama Jolie said that message, yeah, Ezekiel 34. Ezekiel 34. The Spirit of the Lord uh, revealed it to me and remembered, reminded me. What he had told us at the altar last year. We are the ones of the church. Come and to Gamba. Then reveal to us that the church. Yes, is the most responsible of misleading God's people from the truth for the false doctrines. Yes. When you continue to pray about it, and you continue to speak to me, revealing to me about the use, you put the burden of the use upon my heart. Amen. Most of the time I pray for the youth. And it should be a great part of the youth. They were behind the false prophets. And he told me to pray for the youth. Because in this generation, it is a, 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 a
za abakunganya za abayigiriza ngo kwe gomba kwe mitima ya abagukuri they have looked for each other according to the desires of their hearts Echigambo Paulo chiyalabula mutabanyi we Timoseo the word that Paul wrote about this about the second Timothy chapter 4 in the second Timothy chapter 4 namugamba bajja kuba benonye bakunganya abayigiriza people will be gathering teachers ngo kwe gomba kwe mitima ya abagukuri abada bimbikulira ngo yogera nayo tubaza mu kama twenenyesa era katonda mwesigwa okutusasira amina Right now, Katwanizo Muel is a faith. Faith. Katumani is an team here. But we're reading a common name, but God bid us to. I'm going to lead us in special songs. Not special, just worship songs. I'm going to lead us in worship. Then we shall follow the Lord. Then we shall see what happens. Follow the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. We are continuing in worship. To share what I feel. Hallelujah. Amen. Good things are born in love. Hallelujah. So we, the intercessors, we are the beloved ones of God. Amen. You are the beloved. And He is our beloved one. Amen. So we are continuing in worship as the Spirit of God leads. Hallelujah. We are all worshippers. May I request us kindly? to join in one accord for those who are seated we are singing to our beloved one hallelujah yeshua amen feel like you are in his arms you are standing before him you are expressing your love to him hallelujah once you open up your heart He's ready to receive because he's yearning, hallelujah, for what is inside you, for what is deposited in you. Amen. My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. Yes, my beloved. The most beautiful among thousand and thousand, my beloved. Let's we sing together. The most beautiful among thousand.
is the power yours is the glory forever amen yours is the kingdom yours right now is the power yours is the glory
the offering of your sons and your daughters, Lord, in this place. As we worship you, Lord. Some of us came when we are burdened. And the burden we have for you is for this nation, Lord. To see your kingdom come. To see your kingdom be established in this land of Uganda. That we will go forth and shine as you have called us. We lay at your feet. Tuala sadaka yom kame yavana bo. Tuala sadaka yavana miti majavana bo. Tunuli lavana bo mochipo china mukana na kuyaya nina. Gabata deni gugu jawe juna wansi. Gabata deni onda biaba inzo kukola wansi. Deba sala waku jama chifo china mukana. Tuala sadaka yom kama. Would you see them come up? Would I want you to go through? In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. You can have your seats. So to me. Uh, our worship leader, thank you very much. May the Lord bless you. Let's appreciate them again. Amen. Wow. Uh, uh, Without taking no more time, and so can you save of nature where are your job? First, get your offering. To where your dollar? Ah, we shall give it. Then, who will do the chitako? Then later, we shall tell you what is coming. Amen. Amen. Ah, to be basamu kama ngoko ati chwe where are your job? As get hold of your offering. To be basaka tunda kwa mama jory. Thank God for mama jory. Neti mudi akola na yoyona. All the organizing committee. Kulo muri mukuno. We know all of us. This work needs a special provision. And we know very well when Katonda Wabanga Agabidida. And when God is providing, he uses me. 